Yo, 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 what is up, 21 gang? Welcome back to a new video, guys. I just wanted to throw this quick video up because there has been a streaming platform war going on for a while now. As you all know, it's all about kick first Twitch. But the number one complaint that everyone comes to me is, how do I block ads on Twitch? It's gotten out of control, as you can see in this Reddit thread. So today, I'm going to show you how to block ads of course is very easy if you're on your web browser on your computer you can just add any type of ad blocker but how do you do that on mobile so i'm going to show you how to do it step by step we're going to dive into this a little bit so let's go ahead and jump right into the video All right, guys, so let's talk about Twitch just for a second. We know they have had a lot of policy changes recently, and they've walked back a lot of those policy changes because they're so bad for the creators and the viewers that they were just straight out embarrassing. So lately, of course, they've changed it to where not only where a lot of these partner streamers were getting a 70-30 sub split, they changed that. They had to roll that back for some streamers, which are your very exclusive streamers, that are going to be able to keep that split. That's only going to be your Pokemon, your Miskiffs, all those type of streamers that are in the top, you know, 5%. I'd say probably the top 3% of streaming. Now, of course, we know Kick.com came about, so there's a huge streamer war going on right now for the platform who's going to be the king that's going to take this platform and run with it and be the monopoly of all your mobile and your pc stream but i want to show you guys how to block twitch ads on your mobile device because a lot of people are complaining just because of all these policies people want to get back at kick now of course i'm a big fan of youtube if i do any types of live streams i'm going to be streaming on kick we all know kick has been taking off recently they just signed xqc we've got aiden ross over there train of course streams over there they've got your, your rage gaming over there now destiny i think even streams over there so twitch as a whole is kind of going downhill so i just want to show you guys if you still watch kick how to block these ads on your mobile device it's very very simple so pretty much what we're going to do is just pull up a video step by step i'm going to show you how to do it within one minute on your phone so you can actually watch twitch and not have to suffer an ad because we all know once you pull up twitch guys it usually runs your pre-roll ads and then of course there's usually like five to eight ads every 15 minutes that these streamers are having to run to make up for that sub split that they're losing in that revenue so that's just not an enjoyable experience at all so let's get into the video and then i'm going to show you guys how to block those mobile ads so you don't have to deal with this and then if you want to like i said always switch over to kick it's a great platform i've been using it a lot and there's a ton of streamers that have switched over recent like i mentioned before andy milanakis is on there now amaranth cloaksy buddha you know everybody ice beside i think personally kick is going to surpass twitch because all these pr all this negative attention that you see on reddit on twitter everywhere else is eventually going to catch up to them they're sinking money i know aws is very expensive for kick but you also got to look at it as amazon is losing money with twitch so kick is actually making money for amazon whereas twitch is actually just a sinking ship at this point so you've got to look at it from that perspective and that's why i think a lot of these twitch streamers are switching over to kick um, to get these deals so anyway guys let's pull up that video and show you how to block these mobile ads so you can actually enjoy watching twitch on your mobile device now of course the first thing that you want to do is go into your play store download a different browser download firefox of course firefox has been around forever so you're just going to go into your browser download firefox enable that on your device go ahead you don't have to set it as your default browser you can if you want to the only thing i don't like about it is the uh, web address and all the taskbar and stuff like that is at the bottom of course you might be able to change that and put it at the top like all your other browsers i'm not sure but after you get that installed guys all you got to do is hit those three dots at the bottom click add-ons and then you're going to enable the uBlock add-on and then you go ahead and leave that on and that's it and then you can go to twitch.com you can go to the full desktop site if you want to or if you still want to use it on the mobile site now of course you're not going to be able to use the twitch app you know to get around those ads but the best thing about this is you can still put this on your home screen create a shortcut so you can just go straight to the website so you can skip past all these ads so there's really not a huge difference you can still sign into your profile and chat and all that good stuff it's not as user friendly of course as the ui of the twitch app but it's much more enjoyable than having to watch you know 20 minutes of ads every hour right and of course it's something that i want to do just to get back at twitch a little bit 
let me know in the comments guys what you think about the kick vs twitch whole war going on right now and of course youtube is in there as well i think youtube honestly could take over if they just didn't change their whole chat user interface and the way everything works with the subs and stuff they really could take over but i just don't see streaming as a very viable source of revenue and that's why they haven't done it to be honest so anyway guys let me know in the comments what you guys think let me know if ads is ruining twitch what is your opinion on kick we all know it's backed by stake which you know cannot be um great for everyone you know in their moral standpoint if they're against gambling and all that but you do have to look at Amazon also not being a great company either with all their problems with all their labor workforce laws that have been you know investigated a Senate investigation was just launched so you know there's no platform or big company that's perfect let's be honest they're all greedy they all want money so this is just one way we can get back to twitch a little bit and skip this whole ad deal that's going on that's just ruining twitch so let me know in the comments below what you think also guys if you haven't already go ahead and check out my previous two videos the one about nick Merckx and warzone and of course them removing both of tim the tatman and nick Merckx operator skins just over a simple tweet let me know about that video guys let me know your opinion on that that's one thing let me know in the comments also what games and what videos you want to see next on the channel right now games are kind of dead i honestly have been playing fortnite a little bit lately just because of that whole controversy i just kind of stood by nick Merckx, so i'm not really back to you know jumping back into warzone 2 yet and it is kind of disappointing they removed warzone 1 i mean what is up with that that was the only decent form of warzone that we had if i'm being completely honest with you check out the patreon if you just want to support us if you want guys to get better fps chrono scripts all that good stuff we'll continue to do that as we move along i can't thank you guys enough for all the support with the channel we're getting back in the group of things make sure you check me out on twitter at 21 cosmic one follow me on kick from streams from time to time i appreciate all love and support we'll see you on the next video enjoy the rest of your day it's all peace and love from here we're out deuces Thank you.